Hello everyone, uh, it's David again. I've got a, a video. Honestly, I had not intended on making a video so soon, but I have gotten some stuff in the mail recently and frankly, I need to clear off my desk. I've got to get these sorted and put in their cases and figure out what I'm going to display. And I thought I would share it with you as I unbox these. A lot of these brands you are familiar with, you have possibly the cars already. Um, I'm going to look at a lot of different brands and perhaps maybe there's a brand that you haven't seen before. So I'll also, if I can, I'll offer comparisons of castings that a lot of us already have from the major makers, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, um, in comparison to the brand that I picked up as well. First one we'll look at today, this is a Matchbox Bentley Continental GTE. It is a dark blue. It's hard to pick up. Uh, it's actually a a uh, metallic, like a uh, it's got a, a flare and a little bit of glitter, if you if you will. Um, it's a beautiful car. This is from their Best of series. I believe it's from 2017. This this vehicle, of course, the Best of comes with a little storage box, maybe a display if you want to put it on top. This vehicle has rubber tires it has chrome wheels it has painted tail lamps a badge on the rear it is a left-hand drive vehicle which is um, a little disappointing you would expect a bentley or a jaguar or rolls royce to always be right hand drive but that's okay uh pretty detailed grill tampoed headlamps a badge on the front again a really um, sparkly blue it's not picking up too well in this light but it is a great looking vehicle I'm gonna put it right here and I'll pull out a couple that I have similar just to compare the size this is a majorette version that has the opening doors you can see majorettes a little bit bigger um, then we've got a welly here and then also the the normal matchbox, the main line, which is the a little bit deeper blue. I do enjoy the best of version the best. I think it's just a classier version. And the rubber tires really sell it. I don't have a whole lot of matchbox with rubber tires. So we'll put we'll put these over here and I will try and keep everything grouped together. Next one, uh, a lot of you guys probably seen it already. It's the Golf MK1 by Greenlight. Uh, this is one of my favorite cars in my collection now. I, I love the simplicity of it. I like the, I don't know, just the, the common vehicle that we've all seen a million times. It's got painted tail lamps. It's got a small chrome, uh, possibly even a VW logo. I'm not sure. I, I can't see that well. But it does have the Volkswagen badges on the left and right. You can you can tell this vehicle is true 164 because it is it is tiny in the hand. It's a metal uh, car with a metal base. It's got rubber tires. And as we look next to some other golfs, you can take a look at the comparison of the Hot Wheels, the Matchbox. And I've even got some Maestos with a couple of different wheels on them. But you can you can see the green light is clearly the smallest of the of the batch. Uh, but honestly, it's still my favorite. It's the most detailed of the group. So we'll put it over here and then we'll move on to the next one. Uh, up next, I've got an Audi R8. This is my first venture into Tarmac Works. I have watched these cars come through my mail as I send them off to my friend Christian who collects the RWB Porsches, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, but this is the first one I picked up for my collection. I don't go for the race liveries very often. In fact, never at all. But I did find these Tarmac Works that were just street cars and 
it's amazing it's fantastic this is an R8 I have a couple other R8s which I'll show you how they compare but honestly this one is clearly superior to the others window trim uh, it's got tiny rubber mirrors on the side in case they break off it's got a plastic wing on the back it's got the badging and the license plate it's got lensed tail lamps this car um, you know I happen to catch eBay I, I always look and, and sort by the lowest price this car wound up being about ten dollars and then maybe five dollars for shipping so that's about my price point that I'm comfortable with I'm not gonna jump in there and grab a fifty dollar vehicle uh, so for me to get a tarmac my first for about fifteen dollars to my door it was a no-brainer for me uh, you can see the comparison this is the matchbox mainline which I believe I believe came separately or maybe it was just in a five pack um, it's a great car I'm not going to knock it one bit you get a license plate you get tail lamp de decals or details uh, different colored grill you get front lamp detail a front license plate grill uh, that matchbox version is fantastic the welly uh, not bad at all either a little bit of front lamp detail and a plate on the front badge on the hood or the boot so all of those are good for main lines they're incredible but that tarmac works is an amazing vehicle and that's why I grabbed it uh, just happened to be one I think somebody was trying to move some inventory next one unbelievably I picked up a Porsche Cayenne I had never bought one and I don't know how I missed this entire casting this is a matchbox um, I don't have a single Porsche Cayenne in my entire collection and I've got a lot of Porsches one day we'll go through the case um, but yeah this this one I just saw it on eBay and didn't recognize it so I grabbed it and I'm really glad I did it's a good looking model this one has a badge on the front and is a uh, it's a great great model so that is just the matchbox main line that I didn't have let's see what's next um, anytime I get a package from France now I get excited I've never been one to uh, order a lot of stuff from France but um, when I do now it means I am probably getting a Norev and that means either a, a Peugeot or a Citroen or a um, Renault. This is a, I had to have this one. This is a Peugeot Partner. It's a panel van. The Citroen complement to this or, or clone of this is the Berlingo. I believe that's what it's sold as in Europe. These also are sold as Opel. This is a first generation, and this is a great model. It comes with lensed headlamps, badge on the front, realistic wheels, great paint job, tail lamps are painted, um, logos and badges on the back, uh, even a little bit of trim there by the rocker panel. So fantastic little truck. I don't have any transit vans, modern transit vans in my collection. So I'm really glad I picked this up. This would have been a 2004 to 2012 model year vehicle for Peugeot. Um, next, another one I didn't have any of. And, and I know there's a lot out there, but even out of the Hot Wheels, Broncos, I don't have a single one. I've never liked any of their off-road versions I just I prefer classics so when I saw this green light I did uh, I did pick it up at Hobby Lobby one day this is a 1968 Icon Ford Bronco I don't know exactly what the Icon uh, has to do with the name but uh, I saw I, I believe I saw this on a video done by Die Castrum um, which is die cast with RUM at the end. He was showing off either this one or a black bandit 
version and it's just it was too cool <coughs> excuse me too cool to pass up look at all the all the detail you get on the front end you get even the forward in the grill badges on the side the the lift kit this is a black this is a matte black even the spare tire is a full rubber tire lens head lamps on the back fantastic and uh for my first bronco i think it did well on that it feels like yeah look the uh top comes off make it a a beach cruiser if you want to great looking vehicle 1968 ford bronco that is a representation of a vehicle that sold at a mecham auction for uh, on the back of the card it said $193,000 so it was a fully restored the bumpers are powder coated for my first Bronco I love it next up is a brand that uh, hopefully you've heard of if not you'll enjoy them mini GT is one that I discovered not too long ago and they are they are awesome uh, this comes from a company called mini GT formerly or still known as well as true scale miniatures uh, previously true scale miniatures didn't do 164 mini gt was their first foray into that market with these cards you can either get them on a, a blister or you can get them uh, as you see in the little box here this is a toyota supra An amazing car you can see it is, it's equivalent to like an, a, a Kyosho or a, just a really high end. This is another one that sometimes they can run 25, 35 higher than that. Um, coming out of Japan, it's going to be a while to get to you if you're where I am. Uh, I caught this one. I believe total with shipping was $15. So that's where I'm, I'm capping it out at typically and I saw it and wanted to have one especially a plain street version so this is a Toyota Supra from Mini GT uh, Mini GT is a company based out of Hong Kong uh, I saw a great informative video on the Lamley group uh, that gave us a plenty of information about mini gt so full credit to him for putting that together go check it out here is an old matchbox casting for comparison the sad thing about this matchbox and i believe it this was like their world class series this is a fantastic casting if they didn't have these goofy wheels that stick out a foot and a half past the, the fenders this would be a great vehicle if I were to take this apart and put some really high-end custom wheels on it, this would probably be a pretty sharp vehicle. Uh, but as you can see, it just doesn't hold a candle to the Mini GT version. Here's the Hot Wheels um, current uh, Super that has the real riders, and it's not a bad car at all. But for realism, this is amazing. This looks just like you would see parked out in the uh, out in the road lensed headlamps um, rear view mirrors this one is a right hand drive check out the detail on the rear lamps all the different colors the super badge the Toyota logo the side marker even a colored exhaust I'm really really glad I got this vehicle so we'll put the supers over here and we're inching our way toward the finish line. I know you guys have seen this one, but I was glad to find it. I got the red Subaru. Um, it is a Hot Wheels, it's a dollar, and it's still a good looking car. So no discrimination here. We don't have to have 10 or $15 cars. This is a, this is a great car. I, I love the blue version, and I do love the red version. You get two different colors on the tail lamps, you get a uh, license plate, so to speak. Can't, it's not coming up. Um, some gold rims, which are okay. 
for a dollar. You're not going to do any better than that. Let's put this over here. And we'll get this Hot Wheel a little spot here. And the last one I'm going to show you is we talked about Tarmac Works a moment ago with the Audi. This is the latest one that my friend Christian is getting. Um, I don't think I have my screwdriver here. I'm not going to take it apart um, because I don't want to damage it. But uh, so this is their new RWB. This is the 993 Jägermeister. It, they are doing just scores and scores of 993 with all different race liveries. I had to look up what he, what RWB is. I didn't understand why there were so many different versions. So RWB is Raw Welt, a Porsche tuner. Uh, it's a gentleman in Japan that tunes your Porsche uh, to your specifications. You pay, uh, you pay up front for the entire kit. You get in line. He comes out. He meets with you. He hand builds it the kit itself will run you about 40,000 on top of the Porsche which you will also provide uh, just a quick check online a Porsche 993 will run you anywhere from 140 to 800 thousand dollars which you will provide before the uh, customization is done this is a gorgeous car uh, I know Christian will love it when he gets it this is Tarmac Works again, and they are originally only in Japan. Now they're, they've got an office set up in the United States. So if you would like your Porsche 993 or, or any air-cooled Porsche um, customized, you can look them up online. Real quickly, I will show you the Hot Wheels version just to compare. Hot Wheels gave us a really sharp version and for it to it is a premium but to only only be four or five dollars this is a heck of a, a job of hot wheels so i think this is one of the more famous rwbs so this is the newest jagermeister version that's out right now that's what i've got recently now i can get my desk cleared off i hope you enjoyed them if there's uh any questions you had about any brands or any any of the models Leave a comment below. I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free to let me know with a like and share it if you would like as well. I will talk to you all soon. Thank you.